This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 10.8.8. .8. To maintain consistency, attachment icons now display when scheduling an activity feed post. When editing a planned post, and an instructor clicks Attach, attachment icons display. A new Learning Outcomes tab has been added to Assignments. Your instructors can browse predefined outcomes that have been previously imported into Lessons. To use outcomes without using the Lessons experience, you can import outcomes while Lessons is enabled, and then switch to Content once the import is complete. This feature requires the D2L Tools Content is Lessons Enabled, D2L Tools Content Use Lessons Experience, and the D2L Tools Learning Outcomes Tool Integration Enabled configuration variables to be set to on. The Manage Outcomes permission must be set at the organization and course offering level for administrators. When creating or editing an assignment, instructors can now click Learning Outcomes. To add predefined outcomes to an assignment, click Add Outcomes. And select the checkbox for the learning outcomes you want to add. Then, click Add. The learning outcome displays. To remove an existing outcome, click Remove Alignment. Your instructors can assess assignments directly against learning outcomes. This feature requires the D2L Tools Content is Lessons Enabled, D2L Tools Content Use Lessons Experience, and the D2L Tools Learning Outcomes Tool Integration Enabled configuration variables to be set to on. The Manage Outcomes permission must be set at the organization and course offering level. Now, learning outcomes can be assessed in the Evaluation panel of the Evaluate Submissions page. Select the appropriate level of achievement from the scale provided. To make this feedback available to learners, click Publish. Your instructors can now change the assignment and submission types for assignments that have no submissions. This feature implements PI items D3654 and D4880. Evaluate Learners can be accessed by clicking a learner's name from the submissions page. This feature implements PI item D1014. A number of improvements have been made to the Evaluate Submissions page. If applicable, a Launch Turnitin link has replaced Markup Document. The Publish and Save Draft buttons have moved out of the Evaluation and Feedback pane. An additional Next Student link has been added following Publish and Saved Draft. A new Adoption Dashboard has been embedded in the Insights Portal. This dashboard provides visualizations with filtering options for organization-wide adoptions such as login trends, course access, tool usage trends, and enrollment trends. This feature requires the new Adoption Dashboard Insights permission and the Query Data Platform Brightspace Data Platform permission at the organization level. Note, this feature is available with the Performance Plus package and is not available in Canada. Instructors can now view any evidence that can be converted to a PDF by the Document Conversion Service in Brightspace Portfolio web application. This feature implements PI item D4252. This feature requires the D2L System Services Document Conversion is enabled configuration variable to be set to on. On paper and observed in person assignment types can be created directly from content. In the unit you want to add an assignment to, click Upload Create. Navigate to and click New Assignment. Enter the relevant details and then select the submission type. Rear instructors can now choose from on paper and observed in person submission types. Course Builder now supports on paper and observed in person assignment types. Additional data columns have been added to a number of data sets. For more information, review the release notes. 
the user's dataset has been updated to remove the internal email column and now instead displays a first login date column. The internal email column removal requires the D2L, Tools, Brightspace datasets, version, configuration variable to be set to 3.0. Grading with rubrics and discussions offers new functions and an improved workflow. When assessing discussions with rubrics, all assessments and feedback automatically save in draft state. Select the levels the learner has achieved. A saving, saved indicator displays. Continue providing feedback to the learner. To provide the feedback to learners, click Publish. Uncheck the Status checkbox to retract feedback. Retracting feedback allows your instructors to remove the published feedback from the view of learners to change the total score. The overall score and overall feedback of the rubric can be edited without retraction. A new standards tool has been introduced. Standards allow you to define scales for measuring achievement and learning outcomes. This feature requires the D2L, Tools, Content, Is Lessons Enabled, D2L, Tools, Content, Use Lessons Experience, and the D2L, Tools, Learning Outcomes, Tool Integration Enabled configuration variables to be set to on. The Manage Outcomes permission must be set at the org and course offering levels for administrators, and the Learning Outcomes tool and org tools must be set to on. Once standards have been imported into Lessons, click Admin Tools. Select the new Standards option. Then, click Create Scale. Enter a title for the scale, and edit the number of levels if necessary. Navigate to Levels of Achievement. Edit the level colors and names. Click Change Level Color, Selector Color. Lastly, click Save and Close to make this scale available to your instructors. Lessons will display content up to four levels deep. When an instructor opts into Lessons with course content more than four levels deep, a notification displays that some content cannot be displayed. This feature requires the D2L, Tools, Content, Is Lessons Enabled, and the D2L, Tools, Content, Use Lessons Experience configuration variables to be set to on, and the D2L, Tools, Content, Choose Content Experience configuration variable must be set to on for the instructor role. In Lessons, a visibility toggle has been added to the creation pages for units, lessons, folders, HTML documents, and web links. From Lessons, select the unit or lesson you want to add, and click Add. Select the type of content you want to include. For this example, click HTML document. Instructors can now immediately control the visibility of material using the new visibility toggle. The Manager Dashboard and Learning Group's user interface now supports Brazilian Portuguese and Dutch. Workflow improvements have been made to Learning Groups for an easier and more intuitive experience. For more information, review the release notes. The initial text field has been reintroduced into the written response question type. This feature implements PyItem D3957. When creating or editing written response questions, the initial text field displays. Initial text allows instructors to prompt student responses during the quiz taking process by automatically inserting the text into the text editor. Note, questions with existing initial text will automatically have this field reapplied. Users can no longer opt out of the new quiz experience. The D2L, Tools, Quizzes, New Quiz Experience opt-in has been removed from the config variable browser. The D2L, Tools, Rubrics, Display Activity Rubrics on Grades configuration variable is now turned on by default and is no longer available in the config variable browser. The rubric creation experience has been updated. This new experience is controlled by the new temporary D2L tools rubrics create experience opt-in configuration variable. This configuration variable allows your instructors to opt into and out of the new creation experience 
This feature implements PI items D505, D2300, and D2915. When creating or editing a rubric, instructors will be prompted to remain in the new experience or to turn it off. Instructors can choose to use or turn off the new experience at any time. Click Leave It On. Instructors can now easily change between rubric types and scoring methods. New criteria levels can be added before or after existing levels using Add New Level Before or Add New Level After, respectively. Instructors can quickly create and edit rubric levels, criteria, and points in line. The new rubric experience autosaves changes you make. Criteria can be rearranged using drag and drop or keyboard navigation. Click and hold the handles to drag and drop the criterion into a new position. Edit criterion level feedback by clicking the text editor. To access basic HTML formatting. Note, the initial feedback section is non-HTML enabled. Navigate to add criterion. Add more criteria to a rubric using add criterion. Instructors can create criteria groups to organize feedback. The overall score has been visibly separated from the rubric, displaying in its own section to help identify overall achievement. Experience API packages can now be imported and played using the new SCORM solution. This feature requires the D2L, Tools, Content Service, and Point configuration variable to be set to ON. For videos about using the new standards available to administrators and instructors, follow the links provided in the video.